In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we are celebrating the solemnity of Christ the King. So earlier they used to put only Christ the King. So now the title itself tells Christ the King of the universe. So he is King of everyone. King of everyone. Each one of us and our families and the whole cosmos. Everyone. So as we are celebrating this feast, we need to ask first question. Is he really the king of our hearts, of our life, of our families? If he is king, he gets the priority, the first place. Are we giving him first place? So as we celebrate this Holy Eucharist, so we interiorize the real meaning by saying Christ is really king of my life, king of my family, king of the universe. For all our failures, we ask pardon from the Lord. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, have a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things, in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation set free from slavery may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord says this, I'm going to look after my flock myself and keep all of it in view. As a shepherd keeps all his flock in view when he stands up in the middle of his scattered sheep, so shall I keep my sheep in view. I shall rescue them from wherever they have been scattered during the mist and darkness. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will show them where to rest. It is the Lord who speaks. I shall look for the lost one, bring back the stray, bandage the wounded, and make the weak strong. I shall watch over the fat and healthy. I shall be a true shepherd to them. As for you, my sheep, the Lord says this, I will judge between sheep and sheep, between rams and he goods. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Side of my brain. 
follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Death came through one man, and in the same way, the resurrection of the death has come through one man. Just as all men die in Adam, so all men will be brought to life in Christ. But all of them in their proper order Christ as the first fruit, and then, after the coming of Christ, those who belong to him, after that, will come to the end. When he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, having done away with every sovereignty, authority, and power. For he must be king until he has put all his enemies under his feet and the last of the enemies to be destroyed is death. And when everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will be subject in his turn to the one who subject all things to him, so that God may be all in all. The Word of the Lord. Blessings on him who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessings on the coming kingdom of our father David. Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, escorted by all the angels, then he will take his seat on his throne of glory. All the na nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate men one from another, as the shepherd separates sheep from goats. He will place the sheep on his right hand and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you whom my father has blessed, take for your heritage the kingdom prepared for you since the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was stranger, and you made me welcome. Naked, and you clothed me. Sick, and you visited me. In prison, and you come to see me. Then the virtuous will say to him in reply, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you stranger and make you welcome, naked and clothe you, sick or in prison, 
and go to see you? And the king will answer, I tell you solemnly, in so far as you did this to one of the least of these brothers, brothers of mine, you did it to me. Next he will say to those on his left hand, Go away from me with your curse upon you, to the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you never gave me food. I was thirsty, and you never gave me anything to drink. I was a stranger, and you never made me welcome. Naked, and you never clothed me. Sick and in prison, and you never visited me. Then it will be their turn to ask, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, a stranger or naked, sick or in prison, or did not, and did not come to your help? Then he will answer, I tell you solemnly, in so far as you neglected to do this to one of the least of these, you neglected to do it to me. And they will go away to eternal punishment, and the virtuous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried, descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of body, and the life everlasting. Amen. With confidence and trust, let us bring our petitions before God's throne and ask for the graces we need. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. That the Christian faithful may boldly profess faith in Christ the King, despite persecution and difficulty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That societies may be guided by Christ's kingdom of justice and peace to respect the dignity of every person, especially the poor, the marginalized, and the vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the weak may be strengthened, the sick healed, and the discouraged given new hope by Christ, the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who serve Christ the King by caring and ministering to the spiritual and physical needs of others, especially in these difficult times, may be blessed and protected by God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enter the kingdom prepared for them since the foundation of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our personal intentions. Almighty and eternal God, hear the prayers we humbly offer in the name of Christ your Son, who is exalted above every sovereignty, authority, and power, and who lives and reigns forever and ever.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice and our prayers may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Almighty ever living God, as we offer you, o Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and king of all creation, as eternal priest and so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption. Making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Is he who comes in the name of the You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. 
Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Bread and drink this cup Claim your death, O Lord Till you come again Till you come again Therefore Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed apostles, Saint Francis of Assisi, Saint Paul, and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, Paul our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With trust and confidence, let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom as we celebrate the Christ as the King, as Jesus himself has taught us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace and joy in our days, that by the help of your love and mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the Kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and our faith, and graciously grant us peace, joy, and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. This is Jesus Christ, the King of the universe. He comes into our life to rule with love, with compassion and forgiveness. Happy are we who are called to the banquet of his love. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to everlasting life. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let the hymn that we sang resound in our life, in our actions. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, you do it to me. Whatever we do to the least, last and the lost. So we do it for Christ. Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glory, glorying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with you, with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray the prayer for the healing from coronavirus. 
Almighty and merciful God, show your love to all creation everywhere. Hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that their efforts to curb this pandemic may bear good results. We pray for all the people, especially our parish people. They may remain strong and committed in their faith and belief. We make this prayer, Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace and love of Christ. I wish you a blessed day. God bless you.